Well, thank you very much for joining me for The Primate Live. Now, you've worked together um, on a number of um, projects, and writing and directing, of course. Do you feel as though you sort of have that kind of um, brotherly rhythm, a little bit of um, sibling rivalry, as it were, when you're working together? I don't know if there's a rivalry, but it's definitely a brotherly relationship because we've been together for so long. We worked together for like 24 years, I think it is, and um, it's, you know, kind of finish each other's sentences, all that kind of nonsense. Like, more like an old married couple. It's more, yeah, yeah I guess. Oh, you know, fair like enough. A, a, sad, a sad old married couple. It's a, a silver anniversary yeah. relationship kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> but we're, yeah, yeah, we're past the bickering stage. We're <laughs> kind of, you know. We both admitted defeat. And <laughs> As you say, you work together on most of your projects. Um, does one of you sort of take, you know, the um, the forward march, the front step, and the other one's like, go, okay, I'll brush it up around the edges, kind of thing, or is it really a kind of 50 50 of the relationship? It's a 50 50 on, on everything, you know. Right. I mean, we, we we trade off, but it's uh, yeah, we're, uh, they don't really take nobody takes the lead anymore. I mean, it's, it, it, the, if somebody takes the lead, it's because the other one's you know hung over or uh, <laughs> <laughs> exhausted. Someone's running late. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we do a lot of, we make a lot of effort in the pre-production to get on the same page about everything and, and make sure we're not arguing on set uh, or you know, having too much of a differing opinion. So it, it goes pretty smoothly. What was your biggest learning curve coming from I Love You, Philip Morris, onto this film? What to do with all the money. Yeah. Right. Yeah, okay, yeah. excellent. We Time kind of, and money. We kind of finished the movie early and with, with under budget, and we were like, here... Here's the money. We don't need. We don't need all this money. We don't. Um, you know, it was the big thing about this movie was it was an ensemble cast, so it was a mm. real uh, interesting challenge just to keep all the you know ball, all those balls in the air. And uh, but it was uh, it was great. Ended up being one of the favorite one of my favorite things about this movie it was just you know you had this family atmosphere. You know, going from writing to directing, what was the best or biggest piece of advice you were given? I wish someone would have told me that there will be bouts of extreme paranoia. Okay. There's something about directing a movie that makes you paranoid. Yeah. It's the strangest thing. And you, you t I talked to other friends of mine who are directing a movie, and they're paranoid. They're like, you know, somebody's doing this, and somebody's doing that. I don't know. Something about directing makes you paranoid. A little birdie told me that you're a big fan of Muriel's Wedding. Yes. yes. Big influence on us. Yeah. Really? Yeah. On Philip Morris as well as this, I think. Yeah. So the, the mixing of the tones hmm. um, to, to really go you know, for those high comic highs and, and really low lows, hmm. it was pretty revolutionary, I think. And we, we've often put it in our writing, but it never really came out in, when anybody else kind of did our hmm. scripts. So uh, Philip Morris was our first opportunity to really go for it. And, and we pushed it as far as we could, I think. <laughs> Any other Australian films that you have sort of riffed off apart from Muriel's Wedding? Any other that you enjoy? Well, we were always very influenced by. Yeah, well, I mean, we're huge, fan, yeah, yeah, huge fans of Australian cinema. But um, uh, Muriel's Wedding is the one that is like we don't we don't just mention that one when we're in Australia. We mention <laughs> that one where we're, when we're everywhere. Yeah. Well, that's it's really it's really it's really an um, important um, film for us. Yeah. It was the. The idea, the notion of, of serial comedy, you know, and and, uh, and and how to navigate that world and to get a comedic movie that can also be genuinely emotional, that is what excites us and has been sort of our, you know, our marching orders for, since that we saw that movie, I mean, which yeah. was 94. Well, the, yeah, I'd say the, um, ever since I saw Animal Kingdom, I, I, I've, I've had trouble trying to think I could make a movie again. Really? Like yeah, that's, a, that's, a, pretty, so that's a pretty good release, that one. feel like a yeah. failure. Yeah. Who's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it's professional brilliant. jealousy. Yeah. Fair enough. And an Australian actor you'd like to work with, then? Um, any and all. I don't want to single anyone out, because no, you know, okay. if something yeah. happens. We won't tell them. It's all good. <laughs> it's all okay. Um, and also, the fact that um, you know, you've done films like Bad Santa, of course, you know, I Love You, Philip Morris, and now Crazy Stupid Love. Any straight out drama that you're looking at doing, or God forbid, a vampire movie. Anything. <laughs> not a vampire, not a vampire no. movie. Absolutely not. But, uh, okay. Uh, but uh, we wouldn't mind doing a drama or an yeah. action movie. Actually. Really? Yeah, we'd love to. That would be kind of cool, like a, a black comedy slash action movie. Yeah, it would we be are fun. working on something like that right now. Yes. Okay, it takes well. Takes place in uh, Tokyo. Yeah. 
Yeah. Excellent. Okay, that'd yeah. be very interesting. In your downtime, when you're not making movies, even though that's you know taken up a better part of, as you say, 25 years, what do you most enjoy doing? Well, I have a three-year-old son, so that's all I do. <laughs> when I'm not, when I'm Talk not about making, lack of sleep. I'm, yeah, when I'm not making movies, that's what I, that's what I do. I think I used to have hobbies before he came along, but now mm. he's my hobby. So he's a lot of fun, and that's that's my free time. Excellent. My daughter's eight, so she's already starting to ignore me. So mm -hmm. I can get back to my old hobbies. Mm -hmm. I'm a tinker. I, you know, I build stuff. I Take up stuff. fishing. I, um, I, you know, I'm a terrible fisherman. He invented these lights before they were available commercially. LED lights. LED light panels. Lovely. Yeah, he invented them. He had them. He goes, look, I, ha I came up with this thing. It's a bunch of LEDs on a light panel, and uh, watch me not sell them. You know, <laughs> goes, you think I could sell this? And I'm, I'm like, yeah, shut up, no, you weirdo. And there you go. There you go. The rest <laughs> is history. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks very much for your time, Thanks. guys. It's been lovely. Really nice meeting. Cheers.